I have no idea why it's so nice taking naps at festivals when you know there's really good stuff going on out there. But here we are at Glastonbury. It's it's the first night the gates are open. It's Wednesday. Um, it's a little bit like lightning in a model on Wednesday. The big stages aren't really going, but um, a lot of other stuff is. It's just been walking around. Fireworks, kind of cool. Uh, but I am beat. <laughs> I'm getting sick or something, but man. Well, they managed to get out of bed long enough to uh, come and film some stuff. It's really difficult to get out of bed. It's such a nice bed. But anyway, I'm not gonna talk about that much more. Um, the bands are starting to perform, which is cool. And there's tons of speakers, and I've actually seen some pretty good, um, pretty good speakers. And I was up at the, the sort of craft area up there, which is nice. Um, it's so big. It's just so big, and there's so many people. I wish it would spread itself out over um, like ten days. You know, instead of being just. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. If it was Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, because there's just so much stuff here, and most of it doesn't get seen by most people because it's so big. But um, apart from the lack of toilet paper, it's fantastic. It really is. It's very well. It's nicely organised, and everyone's been super friendly and. It's been great, really good so far, but it is only Thursday. Eat in here, right on that corner, and that should start to spread into the shape of a leaf. specifically shooting um, pictures and video for it's called the unfair ground uh, my friend Steve Mallet is, um, is running that with some other people and uh, it's just it's like a bizarre fairground place it's kind of cool there's lots of uh, strange things there but it's uh, it's an evening thing it doesn't really happen during the daytime that much so that's when I'll be shooting it It is Friday morning and it's a lovely day. It's going to be great sunshine for the rest of Glastonbury. Today is the first day of the actual festival and it's it's looking great. Uh, Bjorn again are playing in about 20 minutes on the pyramid stage so we're going to go check that out.
Yeah, I can put a bag on my ground. Thank you. Oh, All right. Well, Mike, come on. You're going to pop this pedal like a fuck. Yeah, and pop the chicken out of space. Oh, some people say that you should have had that. It's the world famous pop the chicken. Oh, no. this is me. Violin is a refined thing, but fiddle is like you play it, you just make it go. You don't worry about positions, you just make the thing go. Punk. It's punk, fiddle's punk. Yeah. Ever fall in love with someone? Ever fall in love? Ever fall in love with someone?
green one, but yeah. no, we're not letting them past, and we're not letting them white ones, yeah. and we're not letting the queue jump because it's not a queue, but that one might get you past. All right. You just cheers. go to him at the cap at the very end. Thanks. Next to that moment. Uh, are you, I can let you feel that. All right, cheers. Well, I mean, you can't come through here anyway. Uh, outside the festival, our little campground is um, about 200 yards just the other side of the gate. So uh, we have little little tags, little QV, QR code things that just uh, enable us to get in and out to our very peaceful, very quiet little campground down here. It's quite lovely, but it's it's chaos in there. There's so many people trying to get everywhere that um, I don't know it's it's almost not fun it's borderline um, you know you're just like I'll just come back when there's not as many people here tomorrow morning and because uh, at night time everyone's just crammed in trying to squeeze in as soon as the the main stages close up. Everyone heads off to the after hours places and they get very busy because they're not as big as the main stages. And everyone just gets funneled down to these little roads and they just get, you feel like sheep just getting herded around. Um, they've got a strange one way system that I think helps a little bit, but uh, it's a little, it's a little weird. Good morning. It's about 4.30 in the morning and it's it's a little strange because it gets light and because we're so close to the because we're so far north away from the equator then you get um, quite short evenings so it gets dark at about 10 o'clock, 10.30 and by 3 o'clock, 3.30 in the morning, the sun started to come up, and so it gets light. So you're, you're like, dust to dawn party is only about four and a half, five hours long, which is really not that much. So, but it's, I don't know, as I said, we're in the sort of peaceful little campsite that we're in, and the, uh, the main party is going on up there about uh, about a half a mile away it's quite loud but it's nice I always like the sort of 
the sound of a festival, just the cacophony of, of everything. It's got a very distinctive noise to it that I like a lot. Anyway, I'm going to get a bed. I'm tired. Last night I kind of liked to have uh, seen Fatboy Slim, but uh, it was on the Glade stage, and the Glade stage has maybe 8,000 capacity, and there was about 28,000 people trying to get there, so that just wasn't going to happen. Uh, there was also other stuff that was kind of fun, so it was a good night. kind of cool it's just a little permaculture garden um, showing you what you can grow and it's actually growing here uh, this is a permanent permaculture garden and it just shows you herbs and, and spices that you can just grow in your garden um, very peaceful very nice I like this it's like Simeon. Simon how did you first find out he was psychic um, well I, I met him in um, on Coney Island I was doing a little job there and he was, well, doing tricks for cigar butts. You know, how it goes. Yeah. Down on his luck. And uh, you do what you do. then suddenly it became apparent that he had a communicative ability and a, a little psychic gift. Amazing. So uh, we went into partnership. Yeah. I'm still not sure who's in charge, but. On a mission to knock any competition off the top position Cause rappers are lying to these kids that like politicians You're saying that hip hop is a contradiction Listen mate, these kids imitate what you're spitting Times are changing, this is the new day In a deep dude, we see through what you say And don't listen when you're spitting Your lyrics are too fake, hip hop <laughs> There comes a time at a festival and you're not sure whether you should like clean the caravan or your tent or whatever or you should just like push on through and wait till you get home and clean it. I'm gonna push on through and wait till I get home. Last night was good. Um, didn't see many bands. I went to go see the Chemical Brothers but uh, I went to the wrong stage. The one stage I wanted to go to was way further over and I just I didn't have the heart to walk in there. There's too many people walking and it was just like hell but um but tonight is uh, is gonna be fun. Um this this Kylie Minogue is playing this afternoon and I, I don't know why I wanna go see that but I just think it might be fun. And then um Miley Cyrus I wanna see because just I don't know, <laughs> it's silly fun. Um not someone you'd normally see at a festival and I wanna see what she does. I think she might do something quite uh, quite interesting. And, and I like Miley Cyrus. I don't care. She's got some good albums. And you might disagree, but you haven't listened. Um, 
And then obviously the cure tonight um, is going to be just beautiful. Um, I've seen the cure four or five times now, and they're always great. They're always good. I used to hang out with them a little bit many years ago, but that's a whole different lifetime. Um, so I'm really looking forward to that. And then uh, last night, the unfair ground was really good because it wasn't quite as crowded as it was um, the previous night. And um, it just had a really nice vibe to it. It was really cool. Um, still really busy and lots of fun. Everyone's having a good time, but uh, it was good. And then I, I think I crashed out about three o'clock, so not too late. Well, I totally screwed up there. I just got the timing wrong. I only caught the last three minutes of baby metal. If you could do me a small favor if you could hit the little um, the little bell button down there um, that means you get notified when I put up a new video if you could subscribe that's also good uh, if you can write something or like it or anything that's really good because it just gains traction for the channel um, and share it share it with a friend um, because that's the easiest way to to start pushing a, a new YouTube channel. Um, I promise once it gains a bit more, I'll stop begging. Thank you. On the third day, he took me to the river. He showed me the roses and we kissed. And the last thing I heard was a muttered word. As he knelt above me with a rock in his fist 
On the last day I took her where the wild roses grow. shooting all the stuff I was supposed to shoot and uh, it went well but I am now walking back to my caravan at Lord knows what time it is in the morning uh, but it was good Glastonbury has been epic and uh, it's been very nice to come back um, I think I'll be here again next year we'll see but that was uh, that was fun but there's an emergency, they came to get me.